Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at how we completed the Mage class challenge in the Curse of Nax Ramus. The fight is against Hagen the Unclean. The most important aspect to mention at the start of the fight is Hagen's hero power. This costs 1 mana and deals 2 damage to the minion that is leftmost on your board. Its low cost means that Hagen will use it almost every turn, and the damage that it does will often set you back in the early game, killing any minions you can play. As the game progresses, you want to try to exploit the predictability of this hero power by playing minions you want to take damage on the left side of your board. The best example of this are minions with death rattle effects, particularly the Nerubian Egg or Cairn. There are two synergies in your own deck that you can and should try to use throughout the fight. Your deck contains many secrets and minions that synergize with secrets, so this is something you should try to make use of. The other important synergy is with death rattle effects. This is where Baron Rivendare in particular comes very much in handy. As you can see right now, we are mostly making use of the Death Rattle synergy. We have Riven there and two minions that get buffed whenever Death Rattle minions are played on the board, and we are also playing another Death Rattle minion in addition to the Loot Hoarder. The Loot Hoarder's death, thanks to Rivendare being on the board, allows us to draw two cards. What's more, you can actually combine this death rattle synergy with your secrets, such as Duplicate, as we have done here. This has the potential of setting up a really strong combination. As Cairn dies, Bane spawns, a second Bane spawns thanks to Rivendare's effect, and two Cairns are placed into our hand thanks to the secret. There's really not much commentating to do of the game at this point, because Hygen is completely overwhelmed by our board. So you need to remember to always keep in mind Hagen's hero power and position your minions accordingly, and you also have to try to make the best use of any synergies your hand allows. Until you can finish Hagen off, you can focus on controlling his board, just to guarantee that nothing will go wrong. On our website, we have a written guide that provides a detailed explanation and strategy for this fight. The link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and good luck!